Nigeria is the seventh largest coffee producing country in the world and two brothers here have capitalized on it. Ngozi and Chidoke Doze opened Cafe Neo in 2012 and today have 14 outlets in Lagos, Nigeria with plans to rapidly expand over the next few years across Africa and overseas. The duo have tapped into a $98 billion global industry. It took them four years to raise a capital of $400,000 to get their business off the ground. See you too. All right. Um, what is the meaning of Neo? Um, Neo means gift in Swana. Um, Swana is from Rwanda, obviously. Okay, it means gift. I come in here, I buy a cup of coffee, and. Mm -hmm. um, okay, let me expand on gift. that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, um, it doesn't mean it's free. It basically right. means everything that we're offering, what the brand offers you is more or less a gift. So we're giving you that gift of amazing coffee. We're giving you that gift of a space, you know, with an ambience that you can come into, you can work, you can meet with people, you can innovate, you can create. We're basically giving you a full 360 offering of a space that has everything that, you know, a new age professional would want. All right, I like the free Wi-Fi. Wi exactly, like the free Wi-Fi service, the seating, our products, the wide variety of products that we have on offer, and much more, exactly. Is it that kind of expensive, you know, for just a cup of coffee? I get to sit down here, you know, I use your Wi-Fi for, you know, all day and all that. How do you manage that? Um, well, thankfully, we have amazing customers who know that as soon as they come in, they go straight to the till, they place an order, and then they can work. Um, but we do have a few measures in place. Like for example, a customer walks in um, and wants to work. They walk over to the bar, they place their order, they register with our system, which is automated on an iPad. Um, and what happens is on placing your order and making a payment, you receive your receipt via email. Now on this e-receipt, there's also a Wi-Fi code which gives you access to the free internet. So once you have purchased something and you receive that receipt, you're also getting access to the internet and you can sit and enjoy your work for the rest of the day. Really? So I can come in here at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. in the morning, yes. get just one cup of coffee and sit down here to... Um, of course, the Wi-Fi does have an expiry period. Okay. So after about two, three hours, you're having to go back up again, oh, and get, get another again. product, okay. a coffee oh, right. or whatever else it is you want, and then start all over again. Are we allowed to go? Yes, yes, please, let's go. So meet Stephen. Stephen is one of our in-house baristas, one of the babas of the baristas. Um, so he's going to show you um, how exactly our coffee is made. Um, what coffee would you like to make? Um, cappuccino, a latte? I, I like cappuccinos. You like cappuccinos? Yes. Okay, so Stephen will show you how to make a cappuccino. All right. Yeah? Get the cup first. No. So we serve it in this. Mm -hmm. So we serve it in the cappuccino. I'll 
just like to give you information about cappuccino. Okay. Cappuccino is an espresso based drink with milk and a lot of foam. So the following are the machines that we use. These are espresso machines. These are quarter quarter and these are grinder. Okay. And we have a pincher which we use to steam the milk. So before you begin with your Yes, to the milk. Yes, to steam the milk. Steam, steam. Alright, yes. steam the milk. It should be well steamed. So before we go, grind your coffee. I like you to do it this. So you turn it on here. To the grinder like this. Can you turn it on? Yeah. I could yeah, grinder like this. Voila. There you have it. <laughs> and how does it taste? I've literally just had one, so I'm good, thank you. Awesome, yes? <laughs> Great. Thanks, Charles. <laughs> thank you, thank you. In thank all you. my life, this is the best. This one, <laughs> Cafe Mio Cappuccino. Mm. I tell my family a lot when I speak about what I do that it's not a coffee business, it's a lifestyle business. So when you walk into a Cafe Mio, it's not just what drink you buy, but how you're greeted, how you feel, the music, the sound, the smell, the environment to work in. So a lot of, I work and meet. So a lot of people meet, you, you get a lot of people that come in regularly and they become like family. When you first started, how did you create awareness? How did you, um you know, get customers? I think it's a case whereby, first of all, uh, one of our first outlets, which a lot of people know, uh, that's synonymous with Cafe Neo, was the one that was on Akia de Shola uh, in a complex called Angelica's. Okay. Uh, now, that was so strategically positioned that anybody driving on that road could literally see it. Yeah. Right, so that drew people in. Mm -hmm. And then other than that, um, I think our customers are like our brand advocates. Mm. They spread the word. Once you experience Cafe Neo, you want to come back. So they were very key in spreading our brand message and letting people know that, look guys, a place like this actually exists. exists. And then of course there's social media. We set up all the social media accounts. So with our offering being the working space uh, and the free Wi-Fi service and the comfortable environment where they can meet like-minded people, it just makes it very convenient for those kind of people to flock in. And you know, once they start again, they spread the word, you know, they talk about their work in this social media age. You could be working on your system and you just take a picture, work mode or something along those lines. A lot of people say it's uh uh well, where is this that you're working yes. in with Cafe Neo? Cafe Neo. For the next phase of, of expansion we aim to go outside Nigeria actually. Outside of Nigeria. Yes. Why? Um, that might not seem like the natural choice, yeah. um, but we feel that we want to have a global presence. Okay. So we want to expand to um, locations like Accra, Abidjan and London um, before we come back to Nigeria to um, smaller cities that have a smaller economy um, like Port Harcourt and Accra. But there's been a lot of interest in those locations for Cafe Neo, so we will definitely come back to those locations at some point. You mentioned that you have um, 14 outlets. Yes. Uh, so how do you um, maintain the standard across the 14 outlets? Um, well, first of all, we have very high standards of what we expect at every one of our stores. We have a lot of processes in place um, stating exactly how a store should look, how a store should operate, how a barista should look, how a barista should open the store, close the store. Yeah, I can, but I can't 
barista? Are you <laughs> talking about a lawyer? Or <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you mean by barista? I'm sorry. Um, so it's a coffee barista. So a barista is an Italian word for bartender. So someone who makes a drink behind a bar. Um, but it goes a step further because a barista or a coffee barista is someone who is very highly skilled in operating an espresso machine and making an espresso. It's a particularly finicky drink to make and it's considered a real skill where you even have competitions, global competitions for baristas and who's the best and all of that. Coffee is um, our number one product which we try and promote but we also have other drinks, cold and hot drinks like hot chocolate, milkshakes, juices, smoothies and um, other complimentary mm -hmm. items. Yes we do, so we have like some healthy options on our menu for people who want to be more health conscious. Um, we also have um, food items like salads, other snacks like pastries, cakes, um, etc. So we get our coffee currently from Rwanda, which is um, in East Africa. But a lot of our other drinks and a lot of the other food and pastries are gotten locally. All of our suppliers are local. So what we try and do is partner with small to medium sized enterprises to encourage them to grow. And we try and cater our menu. So it's it's a standardized menu mm -hmm. in terms of you have things like pies and croissants but we try and give you an extra neo touch to it so we would never sell just a meat pie or a chicken pie it's a steak and kidney pie it's a chicken and mushroom pie there's always that extra neoness in everything that we sell the challenge has been promoting the coffee culture in nigeria which um, wasn't very developed when we came into the market um, and we've done that by making this us coffee shops very inviting so people want to come in because of the free Wi-Fi, because of the ambience, um, and then when they come into the space, then they're tempted to try the coffee, and then become familiar with it. Also, we're very selective with our hiring of baristas. We bring people in who have a lot of personality. Um, so they get to know the customers and encourage them to try our different products, our different types of coffee, and educate them about the coffee. So that's how we've been able to promote that coffee culture in Nigeria. Another challenge we've had is uh, maintaining brand standards as we expand, mm -hmm. um, which we've been able to tackle by um, having a lot of mentorship inbuilt into um, our operations. So the more senior baristas train the junior ones, and this is an ongoing process that we try and encourage all the time, and ensuring there's lots of oversight from operations um, into the different store locations. Um, but you know, Nigeria is a very difficult market to operate in. Yeah. So that's something that's definitely been a challenge for us. Okay. Where people can come into Cafe Neo mm -hmm. um, with friends, you know, colleagues. They can do live paintings. They can take part in live painting sessions. Do they have they to pay for wine. it? Um, yes, free. you do have to pay for it. Uh, it's on a Friday evening, so it's something else to do. Well, Lagos, do they pay for a package? Is, um, it, is it like a package or they have to pay to actually do the painting? Okay, so or just what get it is, is we drive awareness for it on social media and okay. other platforms, mm -hmm. right? And customers are able to pay for this beforehand, so you have to register. You okay. Know? And when you register, then all the equipment is made available for you as a customer, and then you can come in, make the payment, and then, you know, take part in the session. Mm -hmm. A lot of people really enjoy it, so it drives in a huge crowd on a Friday That's night. absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. I'll start off by telling you about our loyalty system. So we have a reward system whereby any, any customer that comes in and spends X amount gets a percentage back. So you spend 1,000 Naira, you get a percentage of that back on a loyalty account. Now that loyalty account is specialized for every customer. Every customer has one, right? So you can grow your loyalty account from zero to as much as you're spending and you can actually use money on your loyalty account to buy products at any given time. So for example, you come in and Unfortunately, this happens sometimes where we don't have any change. A barrister would be like, okay, do you want us to add your change to your loyalty? You know, it's just a way to solve that issue as well. So once it's added to your loyalty, you know, next time you're coming back, that change is already there for you, coupled with the money you had there before. So it gives you much more to spend when you come back in. Another thing we do is um, people are able to prepay on their account. So you're paying 5,000 Naira into your Cafe Neo account in advance. Um, you're getting a percentage back. You know, getting about 10% back to spend on coffee. Um, so the higher you um, free pay onto your account, the more you get back. And that's basically how it works. We also communicate with all our customers on commemorative days, Easter, um, World Coffee Day, Christmas, Independence Day. We try to spread messages that, you know, align with the brand, but also show them that we're recognizing this day and we're celebrating you guys, you know, and wishing you well.
on this special day. I discovered Cafe New through my husband. Um, it's cozy, yeah, I think it's cozy. And it's relaxed, um, it's a relaxed place to work. I come here, I'm free to work, then I take a cup of coffee. And, and of course, I've been telling a lot of my friends and colleagues about um, Cafe Nia. So we serve coffee in wedding ceremony. Um, do yeah, we serve in wedding ceremony and so anything within our outlet, we categorize as external events. Operations associates, I work with, I try my best to see that all orders carried out by Timidai goes through. What informed you to become a coffee barista? Um, I was just looking for a job, so. <laughs> <laughs> so then, so then I, 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 I have the uh, job offer from Cafe New. They just say coffee boy. Like I was scared to go there, so just let me just go because the pay is not really bad. So I just, I just go there and I end up seeing it's kind of different to me. Right? But it was very interesting. It was, you enjoy it? yes, I enjoy it. So I just yes, have to stay. Yes. So how long have you been working here? Well, I've been working with Cafe New for a year now. It's wonderful. Wonderful. Really? So you're yes. saying you've never had a bad day? Definitely. I've had bad days. Everybody has bad days and good days. But I've had my bad days and I've had my good ones. So far, so good. The coffee culture is growing gradually. Cafe Neo has taken the lead, not only to promote the coffee culture in Nigeria, but also to provide a conducive and creative work environment for entrepreneurs and startups. Neo is now Nigeria's largest and fastest growing coffee chain with 14 outlets in Lagos, Nigeria. Welcome to the future. This is Inside. <laughs>